My name is James Politi and I am Rome Bureau Chief at the Financial Times. We gathered here in Milan um, with a group of a dozen or so um, CIOs um, to discuss the significant challenges facing um, them uh, in this new era of digitalization and uh, there's a, a huge demand for innovation and for CIOs to drive revenue growth and really contribute to the uh, uh, top line of their companies instead of just sort of cutting costs. Um, the other thing we looked at very closely were the challenges um, facing CIOs in terms of cybersecurity. Um, given the rise of hacking um, and um, what CIOs could do to actually um, protect their companies, their trade secrets, critical infrastructure in certain cases um, from these uh, attacks. Hi James, I am Sergio Colella. I am Vice President and General Manager for Hewlett Packard Enterprise Services in EMEA South. The CIOs were very much aware about the importance of what they do for their business. They really understand that it's not only for CIOs and for the IT departments uh, a matter of optimizing uh, the costs, of improving the technologies, of uh, making sure that they support the process uh, uh, enablement that are required for their company. It's also a matter of um, IT being a support for revenue generation. IT helping the revenue generation of their business and becoming a support in the digitalization of the relationship between the company and their customers. Uh, helping, uh, making sure that they gather the data and that are able to analyze the data in a way that can create value for their business. So they, I think that they very well understand that uh, the CIO role is now much more important and that the IT is, of course, the key driver for digitalization in a world where basically uh, there is a disintermediation Innovation is not linear anymore, but can be disruptive. And there are uh, threats, but also opportunities for, the, for their businesses in order to grow in the future. My name is Lorenzo Greco. I'm sales leader for HP Enterprise Services in Italy. They have shared uh, lots of ideas with their uh, pair in different, in different uh, organization. Uh, I think uh, they are uh, less scared because uh, Basically, they are sharing the same uh, issue, the same, the same uh, pain. They uh, are aware that they are not a technology um, person uh, anymore, but they are businessmen within their organization because uh, uh, they are fully aware that uh, uh, in, in these days, uh, uh, every business is an IT business, so they are part of the grow engine of their companies. The most striking, uh, the, 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 most, uh, the more interesting moment was uh, when one of the CIOs of a very important Italian company said, we are well equipped to do linear innovation we are bad to make disruptive innovation. And this is very, very strong statement, and it's true. Uh, in our large corporations, we are used to uh, learn step after step and improve ideas and processes slowly. Now the point is that many new companies and newcomers and uh, new entrants are coming in with disruptive ideas and uh, the entry barriers that uh, the companies have are much, uh, much lower. So that uh, it's difficult to get uh, to adapt uh, to a world where uh, a newcomer can, can come. You can have a, a WhatsApp uh, application in the telecom uh, industry, which is basically creating a big disruption in the telecom industry, just to take an example. Th you can take similar examples in the banking industry, in the insurance, uh, and in many, many other uh, sectors. So that was, I think, a, a, an important statement. Are we, as large corporation, well equipped for disruptive innovation, for new models?
More clear to me uh, tonight is three things. One is that uh, everyone is having uh, their um, part, is taking their part in the digital transformation. So their agenda, their uh, number one in the agenda is digital transformation. Second is uh, protect their uh, company intellectual property. And third, I think the other point very important is how to close uh, the skill gap that they have in their own organization. Because uh, uh, probably they are on top of everything, but the people that are in their organization are not uh, fully equipped to work with them and uh, work together with them on the same challenges.